Alright guys, you guys know what's me, say Shamurai here guys, and today we're doing What if Naruto was Yami Suka Hira Reincarnation? Guys, I know, I know that we had a lot of people want to go for the Mihawk What If, and I'm gonna tell you that later, like, in the future, I, like, later on, I'll probably do this What If, I'll probably do that What If, but for now, we're gonna be doing this one, and pretty much, yeah. Again, guys, there's still another what if I'm going to post today because, you know, I always post three what ifs every single time I always post. I always. Oh, my God. I fucked up that freaking line. I post three what ifs every single time. It's every single time my new current what ifs were done. So either way, guys, let's get started. Right, guys let's start off this what if as we start off this what if with naruto who had currently has been hiding from the villagers as naruto will be shaken as he'll be inside a trash can hiding naruto will be gritting his team as he's not only afraid but he's angry to be caught as the villagers are right now screaming where are you you demon where are you as naruto is, is like scared he doesn't want to be caught, but he doesn't also want to be scared like this. Naruto his entire life had to always hide from the villagers, considering that they will always harm him in any type of way or form, whether mentally or physically. Naruto did not even want to know what would happen if they were really allowed to kill him. Because if that was the case, I'm pretty sure they would torture him throughout his entire life. Naruto would always try to find a way to hide from the villagers but they will always eventually find him as just thinking about this naruto will begin to shake which will cause the trash can he was hiding in to shake this would actually alert one of the villagers that Nar that something was in there as he will then open the lid of the trash can to see a young frightened but angry naruto as the villager would then yell the the demon is here as all the villagers that were right there with him begin to laugh and smirk as they'll go inside to then pull out Naruto from the trash can as Naruto was thrown out of it. As Naruto would then be hit with barrages of punches. As you would then see them say, this is for my family. This is for my loved ones. And you know, they'll be hitting him off for that. As Naruto would not want that. He does not like it. After a while, Naruto was beaten senselessly as all the villagers had to leave. As one of the villagers says, I really hope that one day we'll have the chance to kill you. As Naruto would just hear this, as he'll be like, I hope I get the chance to beat you up. As he'll be unconscious. As the night tells, we would begin to do his work. As we're going to do a little bit of a time skip to the next day. Naruto was passed out for the whole day that time. For the whole day that time. Sorry guys, uh, the audio cut out. So, Naruto, when he gets up, he would then look at his body, as he would then see that all his wounds were healed as Naruto will be confused at this, but he'll get up. As Naruto would then look at his hands, he's like, what are, what are the point of these if I can't defend or, per or I can't defend myself properly with these? As Naruto thinks this in his mind, he'll then remember all the times the villagers beat him up, him being scared, him being a weakling. As Naruto, there is a bunch of things that he hates, but the thing that he hates the most is being weak. And not even giving it his all. As Naruto would then stop it. He would just stop. Naruto would then get up. As he decides that now it's no longer the time for him to be upset about anything. Now it's time for him to become strong. I don't care about what the villagers think. I don't care what the Hokage thinks. I'm on my own. And I'm going to do things my way. As Naruto would get up. As he would just go... So we're gonna do a little bit of a time skip. So Naruto, he left the he left the orphanage. Naruto, he did not like the orphanage. And second of all, he went to the forest, the forest of death, in fact. As Naruto, he liked it. He liked the forest. It was way different than what he had. In this forest, it was actually nice. And it was actually like clear and everything compared to what Naruto had in the village. So Naruto, during the few couple of months, he would be training his body to the extreme. At first, Naruto did some basic things, you know, like sit-ups and 
you know, sit-ups and push-ups, all that. And Naruto, after a while, he decided to push it even further. As Naruto, he would push himself so hard that it almost made his bones break. But whenever Naruto wanted to give up, he always say in his head, push past your limit. As Naruto would use that as an encouragement to continue doing push-ups. As he would do it harder and, and he'll get stronger. So, I'm going to say this. By the time Naruto is 6, Naruto is a, the buffest 6-year-old has that anyone has ever seen. Naruto would just be built different. Also, Naruto, he did not wear that stupid. In his like his normal clothing anymore naruto he world he wear what yami wears like if you guys see this see in the thumbnail he wears something like that but not yet considering that he's still only six years old as naruto he would wear like a black a black t-shirt with uh with brown pants and you know brown and like black shinobi sandals as naruto he will like he would be walking around the village as all the villagers were surprised because Naruto has walked around the village a couple of times and the villagers did try to beat him, but Naruto would always be able to dodge him and run away faster than they ever could catch up. Although Naruto hated running away, he was not going to do it this time considering that he trained his body. Now, when Naruto goes, he ends up go going to a going into like a really shady alley of the Hidden Leaf. As when Naruto enters that alleyway of the Hidden Leaf, he would then see like this broken rundown tavern. As Naruto enters, we then see a bunch of people, buff ass people over there, who are drinking and you know doing all crazy things. As Naruto would then sit on the counter, as he's like, "Ah, all right then. Hey, Brooke, can you come over here?" As Naruto would then see an old man come his way, as this would be Brooke, and this is a character I created. So. Brooke is like a uh, a black market tavern owner, and he is also a he doesn't see Naruto as a demon. In fact, he thinks of Naruto as a really buff old man that can rock his shit whenever he needs has. So Naruto is like, so how has that deal come in? As he's like, yeah, here you go, kid. As Naruto then looks, as he as he not only sees the katana, but he also sees a pack of cigarettes. As Naruto is like, noise. As Naruto ends up taking the pack of cigarettes and the katana, as Naruto ends up dropping a bunch of money that he had, as Naruto actually was able to beat some of the guys in that tavern and stole their money. So Naruto would then leave as he would then have all his all the things that he needs. As it will be a big black katana. As Naruto would then, you know, he will go back to the forest. As Naruto would then train his body even more, as we're going to do a, again another time skip to two years. As Haruzen, he has been watching Naruto the entire time, and he cannot believe about what happened to what he did to Minato and Kushina's child. Naruto was not the friendly, loving kid that he always thought he was. Naruto, he now had cigarettes in his mouth. Because, you know, he didn't want to get hungry anymore, considering that he, he just didn't want to. Naruto didn't feel like it. Also, Naruto carried a black katana on his, on like, next to his side. And Naruto has also become the buffest, the buffest person he can think of in the Hidden Leaf Village at that young age. As when Haruzen actually approaches Naruto to join the academy, Naruto, at first, he was like, nah, I don't want to do that, fam. But after Haruzen com you know, continued and explained everything, Naruto was like, well, fine. As Naruto, he decided that, hey, if he becomes a shinobi, he can at least get some money. So Naruto would join the academy. As Naruto, as soon as he joins the academy, he ends up getting a bunch of layers and everything from everyone. As Haruzen then introduced, as he then says, hello, everyone, this is Naruto Uzumaki. As Naruto's like, yo, which pisses off everyone as Naruto he just takes a seat right next to the window as after all the introductions are done everyone ha gets their little bit of a free time so everyone ends up like picking on Naruto as all the kids walk up to Naruto saying you shouldn't be here you demon yeah my mom told me that you're a horrible person yeah you should die as Naruto's like yeah yeah okay as Naruto he would ignore them as then one particular kid ends up standing up to Naruto, it's, it was, as it will be Sasuke Uchiha, as he looks at Naruto up and down, as he's like, I see that you're pretty buff, 
as Naruto then stands up, as he grabs Sasuke by the head, as Naruto ends up lifting Sasuke with one arm, as Sasuke's like, ah, ah, you're, you're, you're crushing my head, as all the girls are like, let go of Sasuke Goon, as Naruto is up nearly to crush Sasuke's skull, as he's like, I hate pretty boys like you. As Naruto is like crushing Sasuke just with his bare hand, as Sasuke's like, let, let me go, I'm gonna die. As Sasuke, as Sasuke he ends up finally, he ends up finally getting released by Naruto. As Naruto he ends up leaving the classroom, as he decides to go train. Now Naruto during the Naruto during the little time skit that he had, he had learned about you know chakra and everything. As Naruto he he had actually mastered some jutsus, like he had mastered the Firestyle Fireball jutsu. However, Naruto does not like to use it, considering that he prefers to fight with the katana. So Naruto decides to keep all those jutsus like in the back, you know, just in case. But Naruto did realize something very interesting. One day when he was training with his sword, he then realized that he then made a slash at a tree, but the tree, but the tree it did like it cut down. But suddenly Naruto would then look back as a second tree would fall down, as then the third, and then another tree, all the way up to the fifth tree was cut down. As Naruto was confused, as Naruto then did it again, as then we then see a black slash going through all the trees and cutting them again. As Naruto was surprised, as he's like, wait, what, what is this? As Naruto decides to do this again and again, and only to see that it's working, Naruto's making black slashes and they're cutting down trees. As Naruto was confused at this, as we're gonna do a little bit of flashback to when Naruto is at a younger age. So Naruto, when he was born, he had two parents, which were Minato and Kushina. As Naruto, he would actually be with his parents for the first time, right before they, right, right before he got taken away from them, of course. As the whole Nine Tails thing would happen, you know, the masked man takes away Naruto, oh, Minato had to save him, practically all that would happen. As well, I'm just gonna go to the part where the Nine Tails is being sealed. As when the Nine Tails is being sealed, the Shinigami is about to put the Nine Tails soul into Naruto until it sees something else. As this will be a black book that just appeared out of nowhere, as it was right next to the Shinigami. As the Shinigami begins to like chuckle, as it then grabs the book, as it ends up sealing it inside of Naruto as well. As it always, as like, since Minato was the one who summoned the Shinigami, the Shinigami can do whatever he wants. So as the Shinigami seals the Nine Tails, he also seals this book. As this book, as soon as it's sealed inside Naruto, Naruto would begin to scream even more, considering that it it's the book has more power than the Nine Tails. Well, well, it's actually at the same power of the Nine Tails, like how it is. As Naruto would you know begin to cry even louder, as finally after Minato and Kushina die, Naruto stopped crying as Naruto actually felt happy. As we're gonna cut back to present Naruto. Naruto will be confused at why he's now shooting out black as Naruto then thinks about it as he's like, well, I have read books about dark release, but I don't think this is it. As Naruto was completely confused at this, but he decides that uh, as long as I'm going to continue training, I guess. As Naruto, he would have trained his body even further as we're going to do a time skip to four years in the academy. Now Naruto in the four years in the academy, he'll be known as the he would have been known as the dead last and the roughest person in the academy. As Naruto, he didn't even try in the academy. As people thought that the first day what he did to Sasuke was just a fluke. As everyone made fun of Naruto and everything, but they decided to not to do it in, in front of Naruto's face, considering that Naruto had the tendency to beat up people. Whenever it came to Naruto versus Sasuke, however, Naruto would always beat Sasuke as that would piss off a bunch of people, but an intelligent Sasuke would beat Naruto. Or that's what they think, but really Naruto is at the level, his intelligence is as, is as, is at the level of Kakashi, or someone who's even smarter than Kakashi. As Naruto, Naruto also had a bad habit of smoking a cigarette, which he, which he always got caught in class, as everyone thought that Naruto was a hardcore and a roughing it because of that. Also, Iruka scolded Naruto each time that he saw Naruto with a cigarette, but Naruto would always ignore him. Now, Naruto, he had learned a bunch of these dark techniques that he had. Naruto has, is, as Naruto began to name, like, Naruto, he didn't know what to name them at first. 
considering that, you know, these attacks were just often. But Naruto, he, he decided to call one of his attacks from now, uh, Dark Lifeless Slash. As that would be the, the dark slashes that Naruto can do, considering that it's one of his favorite moves and also the easiest to pull off. Naruto also had learned the, uh, like the best ability of all, which was learning how to read an opponent's attacks. Naruto was able to dodge all of Sasuke's attacks each time they fought, and it was because Naruto had, to, had been learning how to read key at such a young age. Naruto now could be able to predict any of Sasuke's attacks whenever he wanted to, and he didn't even care what they do. And finally, and practically, Naruto, he has also learned a couple other moves. Um, Like, Naruto has not named them yet, but these are the names that he's going to come up with them. One is called a Black Cocoon, which is where this black aura surrounds Naruto, and it seems that it can protect him from any attack. And there's also another one, which is going to be called Dark Cloak Alvidia Wild Slash. It's where a bunch of a bunch of uh, lifeless slashes uh, are attacked onto someone. And another one, which he actually learned, which was pretty recent. However, it does it does like cost him a a, a lot. Like a, a lot, a lot. It was, it was dark cloaked, Alvida slash, which was which is almost like an advanced version of the lifeless slash. Which Naruto decided that it do, he's gonna keep it for later. So as we're gonna cut back to the present Naruto, who's currently just like right there sitting down, waiting for everyone to get here, as the teams were about to be called, as Naruto he already passed the graduation test. As Iruka would then show up, he would then do his little speech about how much have they grown and everything, as Naruto would not care one little bit. As we then see as, you know, Iruka then announced the teams, as Naruto is on a team with Sakura, as Naruto is like, oh, fuck me. As Sakura, she says the same thing, but Naruto, he mostly was the one who was mostly upset about it, considering that Sakura was the worst. She always complained and talked about facts that Sasuke is better than Naruto, but Naruto realized that she was the weakest she is literally has no skill at all can't do anything at and like she can't do anything and all of that but all she ever do is put down people because she isn't useless as naruto will be there in his classroom waiting for waiting for like kakashi to arrive and sasuke he's been you know just brooding and sakura she's been trying to cut up to sasuke as naruto will just be smoking a cigarette completely fine after a while, Kakashi would then arrive as he would then, you know, tell them to meet him on the roof. As when they all get there, Naruto, he would then go first saying, I'm, My name is Naruto Uzumaki. Uh, what I like to do is I like to train. And I also like to push past my limit. My goal is to break every single limit that I have. Uh... Uh, uh, sorry, I got. I can't think of anything else. I'm uh, as Naruto will begin to wander off. As he actually begins to smoke more of his cigarette, as Kakashi is like, "This is Sensei's kid." As you know, Sasuke and Sakura have their same annoying goal. As Kakashi then announces about the bell test and how it's gonna be time to like pass it tomorrow. Like in order to for them to become getting, they're gonna have to do it. As Naruto, he's really interested in this, considering that, you know, he has not had a lot of challenges. So, he thinks that Kakashi will put up a pretty good fight. So, after that, all of them are dismissed. As Naruto, he's about to go off until Sasuke says, hey, you dope. Don't get in my way. As Naruto is like, oh, yeah, okay, Mr. Uchiha. That one that doesn't have a sharing gun. The one that's so useless, that only knows one jutsu, like a pathetic idiot. The one who has no drip. Yeah, I'm going to be the one to slow us down. Okay then, sure. And Sakura will be like, don't talk about my stuff. And she wouldn't even get to finish that sentence. As Naruto was like, can you shut up, you pink little turd? No one likes you. Sasuke don't like you. I don't like you. No one likes you. Because you know why? You have a trash personality. You're weak. You have literally, if you were to die, no one would remember you. So stop acting like you're all that big shit. And go sit in the corner. As... Sakura, she couldn't eat, like Sakura. She she couldn't come back from that. As Naruto would just get up and go. Now Naruto, when he's in the forest, he begins to do. He begins to like train even harder. 
as he begins to push past his limits even more. As Naruto actually ended up doing a really powerful move that he didn't expect himself to do it. As Naruto would then read something in his mind as he's like, hmm, so I guess I can name it this. As Naruto just realized something, whenever he's doing some, whenever he's doing his attacks, the dark attacks, uh, he always has the name appear in his mind as he then says, all right, dark cloaked, black blade, as Naruto would then make a slash down as all like a, like a huge long slash would be sent as there will also be black aura being sent off from that slash as all the trees will be completely destroyed and also a big boom would be heard as Naruto went and look as he realized that he just cut straight through a mountain as Naruto eyes will widen as he's like huh badass as this is where I'm gonna end the video really hope you guys do enjoy but I will be posting another what if today because you know remember there's more I have one more what if to post today and yeah, pretty much. Either way, say Shamar out.